Hey guys, what is up? It is Pizza Prestige, and today I'm here playing Roller Coaster Tycoon World, and we're gonna get right into the game and see what this game has to offer so far. This is the beta weekend, so keep in mind that there is not much in the game that is going to be as it is in the release. Um, this is just a little temporary work in progress thing. So let's go ahead and start the sandbox mode. We're gonna call for all I can afford is we're gonna call it Prestige Park and start the sandbox. Right now the game is loading and it loads pretty quick on my computer. It might uh, load very slow and say that it's not responding. Just be patient. It will respond in a, uh, at a certain moment. So as you can see right here, this is the entrance of the park. And the first thing we can see is this path going all the way around the entrance, which is pretty nice. You have a pretty wide path to start with. Now, uh, as you can see also, there's a path um, right here layout that goes to the cars, which look pretty nice actually. Um, but you can't alter anything of that because it's not property of the park. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the paths. Now, as you can see, paths and queues right here is in the bottom of uh, the bottom menu of the things that we have. And um, basically what we have here is path and queues. Now, if we press that, we can see that there's straight paths, which we already know from Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, and 3. But, but now we have something new, the curved paths, which is pretty nice. We're going to get into that in a second. Now, right here, we also have queues. Um, but we're going to start with straight paths for now. Let's go ahead and go to straight paths. Now, the first thing we can see is this: these little three tabs right here on the top. It says small, which is a pretty small path. We have medium, which is a medium-sized path, and we have a large path that is pretty pretty wide. Now, let's see. As you can see, it doesn't really snap to a grid. We can place it wherever we want, and as you can see right now, you can also place it at any angle. But if you don't want that, you can actually press G on your keyboard. Let's go ahead and press small. This is a small path, and we have all these sections right here. But if we press G, we get this, which is our uh, grid. And right here, the values that you see right there, they are, um, well, they should have been value axes, but they're a little bit buggy. They don't really work that well. Um, so, yeah, that's just, that's just something. You can see where you are at the park uh, by looking at those values in white. All right, now let's go ahead and place a path along this grid. As you can see, we can place one from here to there, and it's perfectly straight. There we go. Now let's go ahead and place a medium size path next to it. Let's go ahead and place it from there to there. All right, that still looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go into large. We're gonna place a large path right next to these. Now you can really see the difference in size. Basically the medium path is twice as wide as the uh, small path and the large path is twice as wide as the medium path, which is pretty nice. You can get a pretty nice treat going with this. Um, so let's go ahead and um, see if we can make some curve paths right here. We're gonna click curve and we're gonna start with small. Now the way this works is you place your starting point of your path and then you can free uh, free place basically, free placement, uh, put where, you're, uh, where you want your vertex to be. Now this vertex is going to be a point at which your um, bend, well, what your bend is going to follow. So let's go ahead and click right here. And as you can see, if you click here and then go to the side, we can see that it's being drawn out uh, with that point. So basically, it's going that way. Now let's go ahead and place this right about here. It's, it's fine. As you can see, this is a very nice curved path. Let's go ahead and place a medium path, which is also curved right now. Let's go ahead and curve it. So we're going to place it there. And then we're going to drag it to the side place it there as you can see that follows the contours nicely and it's a very nice curved path let's go ahead and try that with a large path same thing press here and then basically we click right around there let's see if we can make it a little straight line there we go and then drag it out to there now this this curve is a little bit different uh, if you really try to you know make them look the same uh, they have the same angle that you know that everything should be fine but we're now just quickly placed it and as you can see you can make it in any shape you want now let's see if we have cues as you can see the cues are pretty simple we right now have the sci-fi queue and the queue path and the queue path is a pretty normal path as you can see these cannot be curved these are always straight it's a little something but basically what we have here is we can place this for example from here to there and then zigzag it a little bit 
And then we want, when we want to connect it to the main path, basically what you do, let's go ahead and connect the back end right here. Uh, we're going to go out to there and we're connecting this to the path. Now, as you can see, it snaps to the path, which is pretty nice. But if we click anywhere on the path, you can see that it connects nicely and it creates these little curves right here in the curves. And they just instantly connect to the queue path, which is very nice. Now it's turning day again. And that's basically the way these work. Now you might think, well, okay, now we can place these paths on the ground, but how about a ramp? Or stairs right now as of now there are no stairs in the game but what you do have is you have the ability to build up and down and that's right here the shift plus mouse wheel allows you to raise and lower your item so if we hold shift and we turn the mouse wheel you can see that it actually goes up and if we release it then we can just place it wherever we want so that's that's pretty cool now let's go ahead and lower it we're gonna make it about four meters high tall let's call it that four meters tall six meters fine what you can see is when we build a bridge like this it creates these supports they don't look uh, that bad but it don't really look that good either so i hope there's going to be something for um, ourselves to build a construction out of to support these paths all right now basically what we have right here is let's say we want to lower the end of this piece to the uh, to the ground level basically we're placing the final point of this uh, piece so we can move that point down as you can see when we move it down to ground level it says curve to steep now when we move it all the way out to there we can see that we are allowed finally allowed to make our curve and that concludes it because right now it is again let's see if we can connect it up to the main path with a large path from there to there now you can see it's on the ground level and this curve looks pretty nice, to be honest. I really like how everything looks in this game so far. I really like the graphics of it, but the gameplay, uh, it's a little bit tricky still to build stuff. Now you might think, okay, so we make a straight ramp. Can we do this with curved paths? Yes, we can. Let's say we want a curved path going from here, from the end there, and we want to curve it from here to over there, like that. Now it should, we should be able to do that. Now let's see, I just placed a little bit wrong. So let's go ahead and do it from here. I'm gonna click there. And I should be able, I should actually be able to do this. So um, let's see, if we raise this point, right? Let's go ahead and raise it, six meters. I'm gonna place another point there. And then as you can see, uh, I just placed it wrong right here. So that's, that's a little something. It's still a little bit tricky, um, but you can get it right like this. Now let's go ahead and see if we can make this curve right here, but let's say we want to make it go down as well. Well, for the second point, we hold shift and we rotate the mouse button, the mouse wheel. And as you can see now, we have this very nice curve going on and we can place it, for example, right here. And as you can see, that works pretty nicely. It actually creates this bendy path that looks pretty cool. So that's basically all there is to the path uh, construction tools that we have so far. Maybe there will be curved um, queue lines, but I highly doubt it. I do like the way they build these fences around it, you know, also in the, um, basically in the in the curves right here. But as you can see, there's still a little bit of fixing need to be, uh, needing to be done. Uh, this pole, for example, right here, I don't know if you can see that, but in the curves, these poles do not connect to uh, these ones, these pipes. Uh, they're rotated 90 degrees, so that's not good. But there's still, uh, you know, a lot of fixing to be done. Uh, they haven't got that much time, but I, I hope they'll make it. And if not, they'll have to uh, basically move the release date, I think. Or they're just going to have to basically bring it out as a uh, half-finished game. I don't think they'll do that. Anyhow, what we can see still here is that this, pa this path might not be what you like. Now, what you can actually do is if we grab a path, let's say we grab a small path and we connect the small path with this texture to here. Basically what it does is it changes the entire path around the entrance to the texture, which is very nice. So that's basically all there is to the path uh, building. And next uh, video, we're actually gonna go into the scenery and the scenery will have the path posts and the path scenery, which is going to be pretty interesting to see how we can place things like litter bins, benches, and light posts on the paths so go ahead and check it out uh, I'll be well basically I'll be uploading that later so yeah for now this is it uh, see you in the next video peace
from Pieces of Prestige. That was a very weird outro. Alright, we're gonna try that again. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna click on paths and cues in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so that was basically the entire path building kit. Now, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace from Pieces of Prestige.